it came my battery or the e-bike finally showed up waited about two weeks let's see when did i order this two sundays ago so about two weeks which is definitely less than i thought so figured i would give you an unboxing all right so it's about 11 o'clock at night i'm out here in my garage and the battery that I ordered for this bike right here has finally showed up. So I figured I would unbox it for you. I haven't even seen it yet, super stoked. Uh, some of the specs on the battery, it's a 255 by 95 by 140 millimeter battery in size. It's lithium ion, 48 volts and 1000 watts for that motor right there. I designed it to fit in this bag on the back of the bike, but I've been getting some feedback as far as that adds some top weight to the bike. You know, the center of balance is a little bit higher, making things a little bit easier to tip and so forth. The original design that I uh, that caught my eye uh, when I was ordering this from China was the triangle design so it could fit like right in there I'm kind of wishing I would have went with that design, but I Wanted something to kind of fit my needs and more of a, a Lower profile as far as that just being more of a messenger bag and not having a very expensive battery in it either way I mean, I'm not gonna leave this thing out in public. I'm gonna take it inside, like if I ride it to work or keep it in my garage. Um, so that's the plan with the battery, but uh, without talking more of your ear off, let's go ahead and open this thing. I'm excited to see it. When I said I was out here in my garage, you know, I sounded like uh, Ty Lopez, but no, this isn't some sort of money-making scheme. Get out of here, bug. I'm not Ty Lopez, talking about all the cars and the books I have. So let's go ahead and cut this open. Hopefully I didn't cut the battery. One of the most careful cut here. Probably better if I put this on a tripod, but the tripod's in the house. So I'll go ahead and do everything one-handed caveman style. No offense to all you cavemen out there. I'm just sitting on this little chair. Enjoying myself in the garage. Got some nice foam, plenty of plenty of layers of it. Plenty of layers. Okay. First box. This must be the charger. You can tell I'm an unboxing expert, doing everything with one hand. There we go. Got the charger. Looks pretty solid. Feels pretty solid. Um, yeah, just shows a little. Has a little light on there. All the battery warnings. Uh, when I was ordering this battery, they said it takes about 10 hours to charge, which I wasn't too stoked on. But, you know, still seemed like a pretty good deal. Got the rest of the cord in there. On to the rest. This is why we're here. And oh my goodness, here is the battery. And it is heavy. Holy cow. Ugh. I don't have a scale in here to weigh this thing, but I think... On the packaging label, it said that it was uh, 14 pounds, I believe. It definitely feels like 14 pounds. And it has the three pin charger that I asked for. And then here is the charging port. So, the time has come to find out if this battery will power on the bike. Let's see what happens.
Okay, so let's see if I can load this thing into here with one hand. I know I should get my tripod, but I'm too impatient. I want to see if this thing will actually work. I better spend a lot of money on it. All right, so we have our plug right here. Three pro, just like I ordered. Let me move some cables out of the way. I know it's kind of dark, but you get what you pay for. All right, open in the bag here and on, on the battery. Fits pretty good on that rack. The gentleman that commented on my last video was right though. It feels like it's gonna be pretty top heavy. Just something I'll have to play around with and see if that's really gonna be an issue. Now, I don't know if um, this came with a charger or not. So the only way to find out is to plug it in and turn it on. Let me work this tape with two hands. All right, so we're plugged in. Everything fits securely and nicely. That's not secure. Hope it doesn't fall. But here it is, the moment of truth. Let's turn this bad boy on. And it has a charge, oh my gosh. This is awesome. Okay, so now I just need to find a place to mount the camera so I can do a, a uh, the throttle test. So I have the phone that I'm filming with propped up on two boxes and a piece of foam, so that's my tripod. But what am I waiting for? I seriously haven't tested the throttle yet, so everything you see, the plugging in and everything is, is, is really the first time, so this is pretty cool. I'm just stoked that it actually even turned on. But here we go. Did you hear that? That's sweet. <laughs> no way. Holy. It actually worked. Gosh dang it. No. I am terrible at this. Ugh. Let me make sure that still works. Okay, well, still works. I just dropped a pretty expensive battery. If you're wondering how much all this is going to cost, I will tell you in the last video, in the final build out, when I have everything situated. Um, that way, you hang on till the end. Uh, one thing I am going to do though, is I'm going to move the controller out of this bag. I did get some feedback that uh, it will overheat, so I'm probably going to move it on this little cross beam here. And for the back tire, you see I still have the mountain bike tread on there. For the back tire, I bought the Schwinn Comfort Tire, so it's more of a road tire to match the front. Uh, the frame width of the mountain bike tire is wider stock, so um, I couldn't put a mountain bike tire on this one because it had a thin, thinner frame width, so instead I decided to go with a road bike tire. So what I have left is I'm going to get this bike tuned up the best I can for a cheap Walmart mountain bike. Um, and get everything nice and secure, mount the control unit on the outside somewhere so it can air cool, secure the battery, and we're in business. So hopefully that's my next video. Thanks for watching.